Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Katie. I am a NASM certified personal trainer, performance enhancement specialist, and corrective exercise specialist. I am also a body neutral personal trainer, which simply means that my clients and I don't inherently focus on weight loss, weight gain, or aesthetics. We focus on other sustainable habit and behavior changes that may impact the way that we look, may not impact the way that we look, but what they definitely do is positively impact, say it with me, our overall health. Last but not least, I am also an elite level power lifter and I am, oh my gosh, I don't know, hold on. I think I'm five weeks out. Let me do the math. Three, four, five weeks out. That's terrifying. I'm five weeks out from my next meet. Today, I have to take a top squat single and then do some back down triples and then some bench stuff. What bench do I do today? What bench, ex what bench variation do I do today? I deloaded last week and now my brain is just like, we don't know anything. <laughs> I'm also switching around my days a little bit. I normally bench first thing in the week, but I just, I like my squat early on in the week. So I'm gonna switch it back. Okay, what do I do? Oh, overhead press, duh. And then I do some leg stuff. So I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then we'll go get after it. Here we go. Squat PR is locked and loaded, y'all. Ready to go. <laughs> and now I gotta do back down work. I have 315 just for three triples, and then I'm moving on to overhead press. Here we go. Give it to me like. <laughs>
Okay, good morning. It is not morning. It's afternoon. Hi. Yesterday's leg day kind of buried me, to be honest. My legs are sore today. But luckily, I have a bench day, a bench and squat day. So I do have to squat a little bit today, but it's not too heavy, so that's good. I have to find a top bench single at an RP. What is it, seven? I think it's a seven. And then I have to do back down triples. So I'm gonna warm up and then we'll get to it. really bad at gauging my bench RPE because I've seen so much progress so quickly with my bench I it like it blows my mind that like 160 is gonna be too light for an RPE 7 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 160 right now send it to Joe and then <laughs> see what he has to say because um, I do need a second opinion on, on what I should do today so I'm gonna take 160, this is gonna be my last warm up, and then we're gonna either jump to 170, 175, something like that, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's it, that's all I have to say, let's do it. <laughs> Is my mic on? Yes. Okay, the pause was a little bit shorter than I would have liked it to be, so I'm gonna call it there. That was definitely probably a little bit over a seven anyway. Um, so 175 to start out my singles of prep. That's crazy. Now I gotta do back down work at 155 for some triples. Here we go.
Okay, I am done benching. 155 moved really well for my back down work. I'm really happy with that. I have to squat now. I have to do three sets of five at an RP7. I forgot my belt again today. I really have to do a better job of that, especially now that we are one month out. So I'm gonna work up to a beltless three by five at an RP7. I'm thinking like 265-ish maybe. We'll see how it feels. My legs are a little bit toasted. <laughs> with that a little misgroove on that last rep but it happens now I just have accessories I have flat bench superset with pull downs what else do I oh uh, cable pack flies and push downs all my favorites here we go It is deadlift day today. I have to go pull a 365 single. I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm also hopeful because hopefully it should, hopefully, move better this week than it did two weeks ago since I deloaded last week. So I'm hopeful that it'll move well, but I'm trying to think of like how my singles are gonna progress week to week over the next four weeks and it really all depends on how they move this week so no pressure but hopefully I can move 365 well today here we go
yeah, that felt a lot better than it did two weeks ago. Um, I'm actually super stoked about that. I'm tempted to go up, but I'm going to stay on the path, trust the process, and then take a hopefully biggish jump next week. So yeah. I'm stoked about that. Now I have to do back down work. I have three triples at, I actually have to do the math, hold on. That's not right. At 3.30, three triples there. So I'm gonna take a sec and then load that up. Here we go. Good afternoon. It is training day four today. I'm sleepy today. Um, whew, I have to photo press and pause deadlift. And Joe is here today too, and he has to do. What do you do today? I'm missing the Eagles game today. Other than that, I pause squat like 440 for a triple. Cool. Or Let's get eight, not 440 specifically. Let's get to it. Supposed to be an RP8 today? No, me. This is supposed to be an RP8 today. Can you tell me what RP this looks like? This is supposed to be an RP8 today. Can you tell me what RP this looks like? Yeah. That was literally a six. <laughs> okay. <laughs>
cute. <laughs> that was wicked easy. Nice job. Alrighty, you guys, that is the end of yet another fantastic week of training. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm having some left-sided low back pain and left-sided rhomboid pain, like right between my shoulder blades, but it's nothing too debilitating and nothing that I haven't been able to keep under control with my chiropractor and massage therapist. So other than that, I'm feeling good. These weights keep getting heavier and I just keep smashing them and that's wild. I've said it before and I will say it again, the best decision albeit the hardest decision I ever made for my strength was moving up a weight class, gaining weight. It, I'm hitting numbers that I, I never even dreamt of as a 148, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, I love bringing y'all along with me, so I hope to see you next week for another week of workouts. I'll see you there. Bye.